Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you being here for your weekly bonus reading, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading, to have a look and see what is going on for you ladies with your Divine Masculine. Okay, we've got two decks here. Um, I sense there's been a lot happening, so I really want to get down to the bottom of this. This can be for any sign, and this is for those of you dealing uh, with your Divine Masculine. So um, let's see what the cards can reveal for you. Um, what's going on with this Divine Masculine? What's been happening? Okay, some good cards so far that would indicate they want to sort of fulfill some sort of wish here for you. Okay, so I get the sense that there's some stopping and starting that's been happening between you and your divine uh, your divine masculine, okay? Um, let's lay out a few more cards on top to see what the reading, what the cards want to tell us around your... Let's do four. Okay, there's a bit of a disruption in the cards um there's been an exchange of words and i get the sense that there's divine masculine that's feeling like they're on the fence about things or feeling like they want to walk away if they're not walking away they're walking towards trying to fulfill a wish of yours um but i get there's a strong stubbornness to them a strong stubbornness and the five of swords makes me think that there could be a divine masculine who's entertaining someone else or talking to someone else okay three of swords um, can be like a third party situation there's three people involved here um, so not all is as it seems with just this divine masculine um, there appears to be something in the shadow or something that you're not seeing um, and the five of swords really crowns this reading sitting right on top so it's the last card can be around an air sign um, Nonetheless, I'm getting a sense of this stubbornness. There's a lot of stubbornness here. And there's temperance. It's like they're trying to wait it out. They're either waiting for you to contact them. They're waiting for you to apologize. They're sort of, um, they're leaving things in, in your court. Okay, they they know on some level you're going to either run back to them or fulfill their wishes or do something. Um, so that's what they're thinking about and that's what they're sort of waiting on. But that can be a little bit selfish and a little bit arrogant. You know, we've got the six of wands and this sort of behavior is, it's questionable. I think, I think what's going on here is that someone's playing a little bit of games here. Um, and... I get the sense that there's an immaturity that's coming with the coming up with the divine masculine possibly an uh, earth sign a taurus capricorn virgo um some of you may have a cancer we have a cancer moon and this person is checking out you know they're leaving they're distancing themselves um they're just in this sort of energy where like they've either had enough or they sort of want to dust their hands off of something or leave you know um uh ladies if this is what he's doing if this is what your divine masculine is doing if he's showing you he wants to leave and he doesn't want to partake in something anymore you know sometimes you have to show them the door it's almost like how much you're going to tolerate because there's only a certain amount um you can actually tolerate you know you, you need to see your worth and you need to see your value um for those of you that this divine masculine walks away, it's almost like they're going to return because they're going to see you're not chasing after them. Um, and that's going to make them like have this energy. This can also be seen as a phallic symbol. So what I'm getting the sense is that for those ladies watching, if you've had a divine masculine that sort of backed away, um, distanced themselves, you're no longer in contact, um, or you've recently come back into contact because of a wish and they're trying to make a good impression, I get the sense that there could be jealousy because there may be other males showing you attention. Okay. Okay, the reason I say that is because we have the Ace of Wands. This is seen as a phallic symbol. Okay, so someone else is very sexually attracted, could be someone new who's coming in around you, and this divine masculine is going to pick up that energy. And, you know, men are so territorial. You know, they see someone else having interest in you, or they see you looking amazing, or they see that you've got your own stuff going on, and straight away, you know, something really resonates with them um and they you know it almost like grabs their attention and then they're going to sort of be thinking about um what they did but look 
so long as long as they're on the fence here they're not making any movement so someone i get the sense there's a divine masculine here who's sort of saying like on the fence they're not all the way in but they're not all the way out yet um and it makes me think they're just on the fence um and look at him he's like watching and waiting so it's either you have left them watching and waiting or they're watching and waiting to see what you do um, remember temperance they they can do it they've got the patience um, or it could be like they're testing your patience they're seeing how far you will take something and how far um, you will go with it um, and this is really interesting I do feel for some of you there's a new divine masculine presence coming in with the ace of wands okay this is destiny god fate could be a new opportunity a new person meeting under very very strange bizarre yet lovely circumstances and the two of you are going to connect from there and maybe this is the person this is the divine masculine that can fulfill those wishes of yours with the nine of cups because you have wish out there water is divine feminine energy so you've got the wish out there you know what you want you know what you don't want um and the universe is trying to show you that contrast so um, I get the sense that um, the universe is trying to tell you something about this person okay or about their true intentions so there's some questionable things happening here um, the Hierophant is is stubborn energy it's Taurus energy it's sensual it's romantic energy yes but at the same time uh, given all these other cards I feel like because this card is sort of covered it's almost like someone's romantic intentions are um, clouded, okay? Or the romance in your divine masculine, divine feminine connection right now is not visible. Now, for some of you, um, the, the moon is the female. So for some of you, um, it could be that you are actually wanting to leave because your wishes, your intentions, your dreams are not with this divine masculine right now. Just because the connection isn't what you see right now, it doesn't mean how it's always going to be. Um, it could just indicate right now you're not on a vibration where the two of you are matching. Okay, You're not on each other's frequencies right now. Um, and that's okay. Sometimes it takes time to get back onto each other's frequencies. Sometimes you need to be patient and sort of trust that process. Um, trust that they're going to... That it's going to happen in its own timing. But of course, some of you don't want to wait. It's like, you know what, if it's not happening now, then it's not happening ever. You know, you've really come to a point where... If you're not receiving what it is that you want, you're not afraid to look for it somewhere else. Um, so you're really drawing a line, okay, a line. And you're going to find that when you're in this vibration, you're going to be attracting a lot of other divine masculine energy at the same time. Um, it's just like the way, you know, the way of the universe. But I feel like with the five of swords, there could be some sort of miscommunication, something that didn't go well, um, or someone that has, uh, your divine masculine has possibly misinterpreted something here. And, um... They're still dwelling on it. Seven of Pentacles are still thinking about it. They're still focusing on it and they're stubborn and they're taking their time to resolve it. And look, maybe that's what they need. They need some time to themselves or they need some time to deal with whatever it is um, that's going on with them right now. Let's let's have a look what the advice is uh, for Divine Feminine right now. Okay, Two of Wands, you have a lot of options or to keep your options open. Um, it could also indicate that right now you need to keep a broader perspective or look at the grand scheme of things. Um, okay, two cards that indicate open-mindedness. We've got the six, six of Swords. Okay, the advice would be for some of you to move forward. Move forward with an open mind. Take some risks or take some leap of faith, but don't play the fool. Some of you have been playing the fool, okay? And you've been surrendering to this divine masculine. You've possibly let, been letting him get, him get away with a few things. Um, ladies, if that's the case for some of you, if you keep on letting this behavior happen, it's just going to happen again and again. Um, it's going to be cyclical, cyclical like the sun. I mean, you've come up here as the divine feminine and divine masculine, um, but I get the sense that... Um, some of you, I think the advice here is that um, with the fool, it's not to take too much on maybe. It's not to get um, too involved to the sense where you're taking it to heart, you're taking it really personally, and it's like shifting your whole world. Because if you are letting this divine masculine being the source, be the source of your all your happiness, you know, that's when it could be a recipe for disaster. But if you're letting this divine masculine 
add happiness and add love and add all those wonderful things to your life, then obviously it's already a different vantage point. But the options here would be would be open mindedness. Um, so use your resources, keep an open mind. Um, Try to picture yourself in divine masculine shoes. Um, try to picture yourself in his shoes if you can. Um, so some of you, the advice is to move away and move forward. Six of Swords. Um, move forward into the world and, and, and bring about new opportunities for yourself. Um, put yourself out there to the world, okay? Um, because the fool is new beginning. So for some of you, the advice here is some sort of new beginning, uh, a new beginning with a new person, a new beginning with um, how you communicate with your divine masculine, um, a fresh start with them maybe, especially if you've been in no contact. Um, this could all very much point to that sort of energy for you. Um, but it is sort of like a weekly check-in and I do hope it's resonated, um, ladies. Uh, gents, hopefully I'll be doing a Divine Masculine um, reading, focusing on Divine Feminine. Um, I don't have a lot of male subscribers though. Interestingly enough, it's mostly females that watch Tarot and Astrology. Um, but I do, I do have some wonderful uh, returning male clients. So I, um, if some of you guys are watching this, I appreciate it. But it is mostly focused on divine feminine here. So you might have picked up a few things that are resonating right now. Or if you're seeing some of that sort of behavior with your divine feminine, that could very well indicate how she's feeling on her end and how she's seeing you, how she's interpreting you, your actions, your behavior at this point in time. Um, but for a lot of you, I want to say that some of some uh, of these divine feminine ladies, they have reached a point where, you know, it's the, it's only so much they can handle. It comes to a point where enough is enough. There's a lot of Exodus cards that I'm seeing here. So unless you're trying to push this female away, be careful with what you do, um, divine masculine. Okay, so um, just food for thought there. But thank you again for tuning in. Much love to everyone. Have a fantastic week ahead. Um, don't forget to tune in all this week. I'm going to have readings on my channel every day. Um, and we'll see what comes up for you. Um, in the upcoming time frame. So uh, take care everyone and bye for now.